In the previous topic, we have understood the properties, behavior, and also the types of waves. In this topic, we are going to talk about what happens when two waves interact. And the underlying principle behind is called the superposition. That's why that's the title for this topic. Okay, let's go into the subtopic. What you're going to see is two waves when they interact, moving from two sides of this spring, and you can see that they meet each other, and after that, they separate. Okay? So the resultant displacement, as shown in the middle spring here, then you compare, it actually gets higher, so when you look at the, the top one and the bottom one, it actually get higher. Okay, let's look at that one more time. Alright, so it get higher. It's freeze here so that you can see that. Alright. What if now we have the two piles coming from two sides, but now they are one peak and one trough. This one is two peaks. One not now is one peak and one trough okay as you can see here these two piles they actually cancel off each other okay so each of the points there they actually cancel out each other but you just focus at the peak and the trough you can see that uh, it becomes flattened off all right so when two waves that are in phase and same amplitude meet at a point the resultant amplitude is double Okay, so we, we look at this uh, peak here. Okay, these two waves, instead of pulse just now, now you can imagine it's like continuous pulses and they are coming from uh, both sides and then they interfere, okay, and they meet at points, okay. So let's say this point, it arrived uh, at the point of intersection. So these two points, these two peaks is going to form a higher peak. And when these two trough meet at that point they are going to get a greater uh, trough and so the other points where you can see here let's say i have a point here called um, a small a and that actually will coincide with this a prime from the other wave all right so then they will give you a higher okay so that's the pair of them so let's say there's another point here called b and there's a point here called b prime so you also get uh, a slightly uh, bigger than both B and B prime. Okay? Then the final one, as a result, it will become this. So this is like A, uh, a plus A prime just now. This is like the uh, B plus B prime. And this is like the two, the two trough just now. Okay, two trough just now. This is the two peaks just now. All right. Mm -hmm. Then the other one that I showed just now, uh, when the the a peak and then a trough that they uh, meet at that point, you can see that it cancel off. So that is like this point and this point here. Okay, so these two they will actually cancel off, and so do other pairs of uh, the points along the wave as they meet at that point, right? They will actually always cancel off each other because when one is up then the other down will be down when uh, the other one here up then the other down here the other one here will be down so it is like the opposite pair of the displacement that they will cancel off each other okay and 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 then at the end you will see just a straight line like the example of the pulse just now so that's because these two waves they are in anti-phase okay so previously we have talked about phase anti-phase uh, means that they are 180 degrees uh, out of phase one when one is uh, at the top one is at the bottom so they actually always chase half a cycle uh, between each other okay so as a resultant amplitude it becomes zero so all of that is because of this uh, principle of superposition because uh, when we say it get higher uh, how much it get higher or when it get flattened uh, how, what what will what will cause it to become a zero 
So the underlying principle, as I mentioned at the beginning just now, is actually the principle of superposition. So now I'm going to give you the uh, sentences here. Uh, from what we have mentioned just now, you can roughly guess the correct order of these uh, sentences. I give you A, B, C, eh, but that's not the correct sequence. You need to rearrange uh, into the uh, correct statement of this principle of superposition. So now you can pause and then you rearrange, then only you write into your answer. Okay, so let's pause for a while. Okay, so the correct sequence is when two or more waves meet at a point. So that's the uh, video you just now, right? So that they meet at a point. Okay, two or more waves. So not necessarily there is only there are only two, but uh, for simplicity we show only two. Okay, it can be three and four coming from all direction. Okay, uh, the resultant amplitude at that point is equal to. Okay, resultant amplitude means uh, whatever that is uh, formed and you see that. Okay, just now the peak get higher, just now it get flattened off. Those that's called the resultant. Okay, so it's equal to the sum of the displacement of the individual waves at that point. So sum of this displacement means uh, you need to add them up. Okay, so when one is at peak, let's say the peak is uh, 2 cm. Okay, so one of the peaks. So the other peak is also 2 cm. Then you have to add the two peaks, but because the two peaks is going to give you a constructive interference okay so that the resultant displacement is a 4 cm okay because of this principle we use it and then we can say that okay let's plus them together it's going to be 4 cm okay let's say it's uh, anti phase the two waves is anti phase then we have to minus them okay then it becomes zero what happens if you have uh, two waves but their amplitude is uh, uh, different? One is um, smaller than the other one. So let's say one is 4 cm, its peak is 4 cm, and then uh, these two are anti phase. So the other one is 2 cm. So we have to just minus the 2 cm, and then the resultant is 2 cm. So the resultant wave uh, is not like what you see just now, it's a flat one. This one is going to have a smaller amplitude as in its amplitude is going to be just 2 cm so let's say you you have one that is uh, 10 cm then the other one is uh, maybe uh, 9 cm so again you won't get zero you get just a 1 cm small uh, amplitude waves that is formed so there's still a wave there okay not like zero so zero only happen when the two waves have the same amplitude and the pairs of them uh, have the same value but on the opposite side of the waves okay so that's the principle of superposition.